everybody welcome back Ruben Texas all water fishing and I am back out here in the marsh area in the kayak I am accompanied today with a friend of mine Charles Charles is also a captain I'll leave his stuff down below but you know I'm gonna be targeting redfish today I'm not gonna shy away from the flounder either I'm gonna work start working some top water and hopefully I get on some top water bites I don't throw top water a lot I'm not a top water expert I barely even know how to work one so bear with me keep the the comments minimum if you will minimal if you will uh talking about my top water action but hey you know what i'm out here it is a full moon so we all know those full moon bites can be a struggle sometimes but i'm gonna wish for the best i'm gonna hope for the best and be a short quick day wish me luck thanks for coming back don't forget to like comment subscribe and share thanks Well, like I said, my top water bite is very, my experience throwing top water is very limited. And so it's kind of new to me still. Um, I have thrown top water over the years. I've had some success, but I really don't throw it enough. I'm really not a guy who feels comfortable just flat out fishing with the top water, with the lure on top water. And I don't mind getting out of my comfort zone. I don't mind trying new things. I like trying new things. I enjoy challenging myself. And that's kind of what I wanted to do this morning. I wanted to kind of challenge myself. And this is an area that I don't know too well. So I don't know exactly where all the oysters are, or where the reefs are, or drop offs, or stuff like that. So a lot of times, fishing a topwater in an unfamiliar area, especially when you know that there's possibility of a lot of oysters is might be the way to go i mean you're gonna save yourself from having to you know kind of kind of make the mistake a lot of breaking off and getting into those oysters so fishing top water is great and we all know it's pretty good the morning bite the sunrise bite is pretty good and that top water bite can be really really good as well so but we're out here and uh, I'm gonna make the best of this day. I'm running really shallow. Let's get out of this shallow stuff. All right, so what I am doing right now is I'm kind of just scanning the whole waterway. I'm looking at the grass, I'm seeing if there's any blow up, is there any tails. If I see bait running nervous or swimming nervous or running off, I'm really, really shallow. So. Sometimes if you if you are shallow and there's larger mullets that will run through and, and it can look like a predator fish. But right now what I'm doing is I'm listening, listening for the water, listening for the splashes, and I'm really scanning the area. Just scanning, trying to get that first action of the day. You can see that some of the bait is jumping and moving, so kind of cast around that when you see bait moving. When you hear those splashes or you see it. there we go oh there we go there we go that's good that's good that's good that's what you want to see feels like a little red there we go see you saw that beat boil up and uh might be a nice trout oh yeah it's a real nice trout <clears throat> and that's in a foot of water so that's awesome Goodness. So you saw that netty jump. Oh, that's an outstanding trout. On the top water. Who stinks at top water? I do. That guy. <laughs> so we saw the we saw the bait bowling and jumping. Um, I thought it was bait, but it was probably a trout. So we saw that disturbance. So I cast on the other side of it. So worked the top water to it, and this guy just decided to annihilate it. 
There we go. Look at this guy. This guy is gorgeous. This guy's gorgeous right there. Top water. Alright, we're gonna secure him. Let's see where he's gonna be at. See that? He is 23 and a quarter inch. 23 and a quarter inch speckle trout at sunrise. Big old football. Nice curve to him. Get this lure out. Can't beat that top water bite. It is so much fun watching the fish hit during your top water. It's really cool. If you haven't experienced it, that guy was not coming out. Yeah, see how this water current is right here? I figured there would be a flounder in there. God, love it. Little guy, he could keep, he might, I don't know, he's so close. He might be 15. He looks real close to it though. Look at that little guy, he inhaled it though. That gope tanda, man, it, it, uh, it's effective. Little guy. But he's my guy. Just miss being in trouble, buddy. There we go. Just miss those gills. Let's get him on the board here. I don't think he's gonna quite be 15, but might be surprised. Been surprised before. They love that, they love that. Oh well. 16 and a half. Well, my clothes about 16. Little 16 incher. Pretty guy. We're gonna let you make it though, buddy. Today's your lucky day. Let you go and make some babies. <laughs> See, so you have this structure right here, and then you have the wind pushing this way, and it's giving. A good water movement right along these rocks so whenever you have good water movement flounders lay in wait and they wait for bait fish to go by now when I threw this tandem gope it didn't even touch the bottom I just swam it and he came up and and knocked it I mean I'm not saying I wasn't close to the bottom I might have been close to the bottom but I didn't feel the bottom yet and I just started working it back but you can easily find flounder in a lot of simple locations now this is it's not a secret where i'm at and i know this area is pretty pressured and pretty popular spot but it just made sense to me to fish along these rocks right here although i pushed far back into the marsh and, and went all over the place with charles 
I, when I saw this, these rocks this morning, it just made me want to come back and, and retouch some of this. We got a good current coming through here and fish like that as well. I'd be surprised if there's not a few specks in there. But there can also be a few flounders on bottom as well. So I'm going to fish this area just a little bit. Kind of late in my trip, so I'm not going to spend too much time, too much more time out here. Cast a few time, a few more times because a lot of times when you catch one flounder, you're going to catch another, and sometimes you can get very lucky and find them stacked up. another one and again I was just uh, I was just uh, swimming it just barely touching the bottom bouncing it up and down yeah kind of do the same thing you know just kind of swimming it on bottom I mean not barely touching the bottom not even touching the bottom they come in contact with the bottom a couple times I felt a thump I thought it was a that it was another rock and then it's moved off to the side, so then I, I quickly try to set my hook. But yeah, nice, another nice little flounder. And uh, yeah, again, a tandem goat, white goat, tandem white goat. And uh, it's gonna be 15 and a half. Yep, 15 and a half. Not a huge guy, but still a keeper, you know, still fun. Yeah, 15 and a half. Beautiful little guy. We're gonna let you make it, bud. I'm gonna let you go. I didn't feel like getting splashed that time, so I kind of gave him a nice, nice little toss. third one right here let's kind of see where this guy is. and they're all kind of about the same they're all about the same size all that they're about cookie cutter 15 16 inches but there's another one white tandem go seem that's what they've been wanting they always want go though like gope was made for flounder I think a flounder may go There you go. So he's gonna be close. Close to being a keeper. Yep, right at 16 on the money. He might be just a little under 16, but he's a keeper. And Charles was keeping fish today. I forgot my stringer and I have no bag with me and he's gonna hate me for letting this guy go too. I apologize, Charles, but he is going to swim on. everybody so that's gonna do it you know I came out today with Captain Charles dirty bait fishing you can check him out I'll leave his link below all his links below his information if you're interested in looking for a guided kayak trip or a guided trip out of a boat 
this is the man for you east bay west bay it doesn't matter uh captain charles covers it all but as you saw you know it was kind of a slow day kind of what we expected coming out with the full moon last night and this morning but you know i was extremely happy i caught a 23 inch speckled trout on top water and my top water game really is lacking so that was definitely a confident booster and then i caught a few flounders so you know all in all do some top water i really stink at throwing top water caught a really nice fish i love catching flounder i caught flounder i got to kick it for a little day with my friend charles beautiful texas weather hey you can't ask for anything better than that do not forget to subscribe if you haven't like comment share until next time hopefully you catch me hooking up thanks